I've had a weight problem all my life, and uh, my mother suggested that I went to see the family doctor, and he prescribed diet pills. I didn't actually realise what they were, but uh, I used to work in a supermarket, and um, I was realising that I was filling the shelves faster than anybody else <laughs> amongst my compatriots, and, um, and one day the, uh, the manager w who was talking to me about my diet pills, and he says, you know what they are, don't you? And um, I didn't really know, and he, he told me, uh, you're taking black bombers, you know, they're really heavy amphetamine. Went, really, you know? So uh, I went back to the GP and told him that they weren't really working that well and uh, doubled the dosage. <laughs> By the early 1960s, enough amphetamine pep pills had leaked onto the streets to fuel Britain's first underground drugs craze. Mods, speeding on Dexes, Black Bombers and Purple Hearts, could dance all night in the clubs which sprang up around the country. It was, you know, uh, the thing to do. You, you know, you'd dress up in your stylist suit and your speedo shoes or whatever you were wearing that week and go clubbing. We'd get there blocked, we'd arrive blocked, basically, and, uh, you know, chewing furiously. Every time you'd start to feel that you were coming down somewhat, and then you'd, you know, pop a couple more and up you'd go again, you know. At the end of a sleepless weekend, pillheads faced the inevitable come down. The Sunday was always quite interesting. Quite often, I'd go back up to South End, and um, there was a place in the summer, especially, called Come Down Hill. And you'd find like hundreds of mods all lying there groaning, I'm coming down, man, go away, or whatever, you know. <laughs> or if you still wanted to carry on going, you'd pop a few and you'd be talking furiously to the chap who didn't want to know anymore because he'd run out, you know. 